What's up guys, Pat's Plumbing. Happy New Year. Hope everyone had a good one, whatever you got up to. This video, we're gonna look at the tools that I use for boiler maintenance, uh, boiler breakdowns, boiler servicing. But first, I've gotta go look at a quick job. I think it's a, uh, a valent that's gone down, so let's have a look at that, then have a look at some tools. Valent. What's that? Thing three one. So what it's doing is it's tripping fuses, apparently. So the customer's the customer's been on the old interwebs and has figured out where he fuses. On there, so he keeps changing it. So, so he's changed it a couple of times. Now he's got bored. And now here I am. Let's just put it in chimney. PCBs knackered as well. This is why. <clears throat> now, can't quite see it from this angle. But what's happening is the vessel split. I think it's split up here. And it's dripping down the vessel. And what it's doing is dripping onto the pump. Then, over the course of the day or whatever, it's seeping into the pump, shorting it. And making it pop. So that's what it is. The old Schroeder. Schroeder. Whatever. Right, that's it. Oh, let's see if we've got any damage. Mm. Rusted out top edges. It's normally where it goes up here. Nice and muddy. Great. Change this washer. new one. Get the nut on first with the washer, then you can put a bracket on afterwards. But yeah, if you had, a, if you had the bracket on first, it might be a bit tight, you might not get your, uh, your nut started on that. Right, that's in. If you don't know how about these, just screw in the top, the old fence patch of vessel in place. Now, first, 21. But I always rather fill it up first, make sure there's no leaks before I put a board in it. You might get that wet. All right, so if you're ever doing something wet on the boiler, make sure it's full of water first and no leaks before you start working on electronics. Valent made in Italy now. Buongiorno. When you're doing boards, special Valent. It's in here. Potentiometers down in all the way to the left, so off. And they line up just nicely when you put the new board on then. See what I mean? Need a new screwdriver. <laughs> how bent it is. <laughs> One problem on these boards. If you're ever getting a, uh, a board for a valent, the information that you need, it's all on that plate there. So what I do, I come take my phone and take a picture of it. I send it down to Tim, give him my orders, and he does what I want all the time. Oh, uh, do you want to stick thermostat on? Uh, no, your hive it's been off, so turn it up to full. Tap. Then, apart from all the dripping that I've caused, that should be it. Good stuff. Right, this is the TPXL by Vito. Oh, you're not doing that in here, are you? It's freezing out there. Right, this is the Vito Pro Pack TPXL. This is the bag I use for boiler maintenance, boiler servicing, cooker servicing, everything servicing, small jobs. So let's get in the back of the van and let's have a closer look. Hey, I did have the TP4B, which were a great bag, but like I say, I just needed a bit more space. And here it is. So 
we'll get a close up and see how I've loaded it out. Okay, let's start on this left hand side. So, same with all Vitos, they have big D rings on the side because you can have a shoulder strap on there. Now, I don't use shoulder strap, but they are very, very durable. I've lost it. It's in there somewhere, but it's gone. Anyway, so what I did on this side is I attached some gloves. I work on very sort of like hot appliances nowadays. So a pair of gloves, especially tough wearing ones like these. Um, really good, stop you burning your hands. A light, fucking in boilers, etc. Just fits in that side pocket just nicely. So that is a flexi bendy screwdriver. Nipex grips. So I'll put them all on the side so you can see them. Pair of Nipex grips there. Flexi driver. Players wrench, the smaller size there, the 180s. Just excellent for small nuts and getting in little places. An array of spanners, not from Weera, but from that one, that's a Barco, that's a 16mm ring spanner for oil, 10mm, um, 16 again, that's for oil, 13mm Worcester Bosch, classic, 10mm, uh, another 10mm, shouldn't really be in there, I'll throw that one out, 8mm, That's the ratchet spanners, 10mm nut spinner, T bar, put grip um, put bits in the end there. A Torx whoa, 30. Take a V spin doors off. 8mm nut spinner. Thick chisel driver from Weira. On this side. Classic. I probably don't use that as much as I used to do nowadays. That might come out there. Put that on. Out pile. Smaller back. Oh, this will stay in. This comes in there. Uh, this comes in under a lot. What else we got in here? Fluke voltage tester. Obviously, don't kill yourself. Now, Negisaurus. So if you haven't got a pair of these. What these do is to take off, can you see the end? Take off rounded screws, really, really handy. If you've got a rounded screw, this will grip it and you'll be able to turn it out. Really. I tell you what I've used that on. Valent um, diverter nuts, that screws. Super, super handy, get a pair of them. Screwdrivers, that's a wee ha. Wee ra. Wee ra, look at the state of this. People need to change this, look at that. Freaky you now. Bent nippers, needle nose pliers, really good for taking clips out. Cable stripping, electrician's pliers, these are great, these use these every day, fantastic bit of kit. Multi bit screwdriver for Weira, very, very handy, obviously. Whoa. Weera Allen keys, just a small set. I only need a couple of them, but it's nice just to have on. What's that? Brush for electrodes. Can be worse for wear that nowadays. Lubrication, everybody knows I like lube. It's no secret. Beastman heat, ex uh, heat exchanger cleaning tool. Always on. Brilliant bit of kit. What else have I got in there? See how many spaces there are? Bloody tons of them. I've only got this top section done. That is a trader extension, extension bit for any screwdriver if I need to get into um, the back of anything. A pen. <coughs> Little pliers. Just sit just nicely in there. This here, if anybody had the Weira advent calendar this Christmas, Awesome bit of kit. Um, I put a, a modification onto this, see that screw? Because I really wanted it in my bag, but it's a bit big. So what I did is I took an old tape measure, 
and took the clip off the back and put it on. And then what you can do there, because it's got a uh, tape clip on the side, I can just store it on the side there. That's my claim to fame. Pattern pending. Uh, what else? So a little thing at the top here, a little pocket. You can hang that up. That's what you want to do. That ain't gonna happen. Uh, inside here, what have I got? Got a ruler there. That's for measuring oil levels. Marker. Right, and in the back, little zip section here. It's got like odds and sods in there. Got like a screw, um, little fuse box there. Shredder valve removal tool. So this does come with a fold down cover. So if you're working outside, you can keep your tools covered. But I don't really like it. I work inside, I'm an inside boy. But in the back, there's room actually, room in here for a tablet. Store me uh, bits and pieces in there. So there's smoke matches, drain down hoses, things like that. I'll just stick away, just nicely in the back there. Nice strong bit of Velcro too. <laughs> what that does, it just folds away just nice. Big front pocket here, I used to have the Weira tool check in there. It's the only bag that ever fit it, but I do think that the new advent calendar kit is better than that. So, just keep that in my miscellaneous drawer. So there you go. Plenty of pockets there for the inside. It actually pops open. You can fit a few bits in there if you want to. Fill a bits. Just endless pockets. So there you have it, the Vito TP-XL, probably the best um, boiler breakdown servicing bag I've ever had. You can fit all this gear in, no problems at all. Solid base, it will fall over, like they all do, but the more weight you get in the front, the better it is for that. So yeah, that's it, TP-XL. Right guys, thanks for watching, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, uh, just a quick look through of my tools that I use every day for uh, fixing boilers. Please, if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button for me, it's great for the YouTube algorithm, gets my videos out there to more people like yourselves, who are bored and lonely. Tune in next week, I'm going to try and get some more videos out to you this year, um, get some more content pumping. Follow me on Instagram, smash the subscribe button, and... Uh, Happy New Year again. Have a good one, guys. Hey.